Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to show you how to register with the GECC on single window system. So we know that on 13th of April 2021, GECC has released two new regulations, Decree 248 and Decree 249. They are going to take into effect in less than one month, which is the 1st of January 2022. And a lot of overseas production still confuse how to get registered. So today Paris will show you the steps to get registered on the single window system. My name is Paris Lee and from the GECC Registration Service Organization. So we are established under the official rules and regulations and we provide food import and export enterprises with efficient, professional, one-stop compliance solutions and other relevant services. So our compliance services including GECC compliance, GECC entry, and GACC registration. So for the compliance, we can help you to make your country's national food safety system, the quarantine inspection, the agreement, and the product materials to be compliant with the GACC requirements. And for the entry, we can help you to learn how to entry in China, including how GACC will start the entry procedure, etc. Of course, we can also help you to register. For example, we can help you to analyze your food catalog to know which registration method you should apply to. Are you required by the competent authority to submit or you can just start directly with a single window by entrusting an agency. Also, if you meet the registration requirements or not, if you meet the requirements, then we can start the registration materials preparing and also we can help you to submit the registration to get the Chinese registration number. So today the video is mainly going to talk about how to register on the single window system. The first step is you have to log in the correct single window website. Okay, the page right here, Paris will show you, is the one and only correct and legal single window website. This website page will not ask any payment from you online. I say again, this website page will not ask any payment from you online. So you have to make sure you log in the correct single window website. Okay, then you can click right here. Then we go to the next page, which is a login or register page. Okay, according to GECC Decree 248, there are two different ways of registration. Number one is competent authority recommended registration method. And number two is a self-register or entrusted agency to register. So if your food products belong to the 18 types, including meat and meat products, casings, aquatic products, dairy products, birds nest and birds nest products, bee products, eggs and eggs products, edible oil and fats, all you seeds, stuffed pastry products, edible grains, milled grain industry products and malt, fresh and hydrated vegetables and dried beans, condiments, nuts and seeds, dried fruits, unroasted coffee beans and cocoa beans, foods for special dietary purposes and functional foods. Then you can contact your company and authority to get a login account. If your food product doesn't belong to the 18 types, then you can apply an account by yourself. 
Then we come to the next page, the enterprise name and address information filling page. So you can use any numbers and letters which you like to create your own username. Okay, here you have to notice that we know that a lot of manufacturers who use the old username and password from the IRE system, which of course they cannot log in correctly because it is a completely different website page okay then you have to make sure you write down the correct approval number you have to write down the uh, correct approval number right here okay to make sure you use a china import free enterprise registration system smoothly then you follow the steps to fill in the blanks such as a located country or region workplace contacts contacts mobile and contacts address etc and then you come to the next page on the left side you see application for register integrated query product type query and operation menu operation menu then you click on the application for register you will see 18 types of food on the top so if your food belong to the 18 types you need to contact your food agency to give you a registration username for you otherwise you cannot create a username for yourself okay so you can see right here this is the You can see here, this is the 18 types of food right here. Also, you can see under some, some, uh, under some column, you can see different types, more specific. And then the other types of food, you can see right here at the bottom of the page. You can see the products doesn't belong to the 18 types, so which belong to the enterprise registration. So the feed products includes the vegetables and vegetables products, fresh and hydrated vegetables are excluded, grain products and other products, tea, nuts and seeds products, alcoholic beverages, beverages and frozen beverages biscuits, cakes, and bread, sugars, including raw sugar, sugar, lactose, syrup, etc., confectionery, chocolate, including chocolate, cocoa butter substitu substitute, chocolate and its products, seasoning, excluding sugar, roasted coffee beans, cocoa beans and other products excluding chocolate fruit products other foods and chinese herbs herbs okay so you see the other types of food right here so you can find which products scope which you belong to okay then this video today we are going to use nuts and seeds which belongs to the 18 types as an example so first of all you come to this page on this page you need to fill in all the basic information such as the approved registration number by the company and authority okay you have to make sure this number is correct okay this number is normally approved by your food safety department from your country and also the company name the company address and legal representative name for the registration number in China registration date registration expiry date you cannot type here it will show up 
when you get your Chinese registration number. Then now we come to the production information page. You can choose your corresponding production type because a different production, different kind of food will be different required information filling. So you can see right here, you can put, if you have treated with China in recent two years, you can add your, inf your, you can add your documents, which proves you export treat history in recent two years, and also raw materials, ingredient information you can add in here. And also, do you use a pesticide or not? You know, you can, put all the information required right here. Okay, then now we go to the next page, which will be the checklist and the statement. So you can see right here, ask you the production and processing water. Do you use municipal water, municipal water or do you have your own water? Or do you test your water quality of production processing water? Also your human resources information, so like how many employees do you have? How many people in the management and technical part? Okay, so you can just uh, write down according to the step by step. Okay, then next page will be the attachment page. You attach all the required materials here, including the statements, product pictures, business license issued by the company and authority, and et cetera. You can see the list right here. So for the company and authority recommended registration, the company and authority needs to provide statements and the producer confirm with the requirements of the relevant regulations, reports, GECC has a checklist for a company and authority and applicants as a reference, etc. So after submitting your registration application, you can check your status on this page. Your status can be different status showing right here. Number one might be the enterprise temporary storage. Number two can be supplements and uh, corrections. And number three will be the complement, com competent authority accepted. And number four will be GACC accepted. So each means different registration status. So for example, the first one, the enterprise temporary storage, which means you just save your your company information right here. You just uh, have the safety data in the system. It didn't go to your company and authority yet. It didn't go to GACC yet. And the second one, supplements and corrections, which means you need to correct or supplement some information in the system. And number three, the company and authority accepted, which means already your information submitted to your company and authority already, but didn't go to GACC yet. And the last one, GACC accepted, which means already your information is received by GACC and GACC already will take the registration application already in the GACC custom system. Okay, so that's uh, four different status. Okay, remember, you can always uh, check your registration status right here on this page. So that's a uh, process the registration for nuts and seeds as an example. So you just need to know what products you belong, the scope you belong to, you find out, then you can follow the steps it's similar like the nuts and seeds, but just a little bit different. It depends what products you are producing. And also, uh, remember, if you are going to be recommended by your company and authority, you need to ask a, a login number from them. If you are uh, you doesn't you your products doesn't belong to eighteen types, then you can interest an agency to help you to directly to to go on the single window system. But here, 
Paris wanted to remind you there are some important points you have to know at the end of my video today. So number one, you have to register on the correct and legal single window website. Remember I said in the beginning of my video, I said the website page will not ask any payment from you online. So remember you have to log in the correct single window website and number two your information filling must be compliant so after you're submitting your information for example if there's something wrong with your information you might not be able to change the information so you have to make sure everything that you're filling in the system is correct and is compliant and number three your registration application online is only one of the steps for registration GECC also reviews and on your country's food safety management system. After you get your registration number approved by GACC, GACC will still conduct the re-evaluation on you, including production and processing control, cleaning and disinfection system, product traceability, and there are indeed a lot of complex and many aspects shall be inspected by GACC. GACC. Okay, so it's not just a simple like uh, you filling in the application online. Again, my name is Paris Lee. Thank you for watching. And we are GACC Registration Service Organization. We provide the survey, registration service for food producers, exporters, importers, industry stakeholders, and so on. If you have any questions regarding the registration, you can feel free to contact us. And we can also help you with the whole registration registration process. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you. Bye-bye.